Lions versus Western Province, Garen. You said this was going to be the game of the weekend. Yeah. Did it turn out that way? You know, on paper, it's certainly the game of the weekend. You're the, the top two teams in the log heading into the match, um, undefeated, taking on each other. There was talk about a prelude to the final even. Um, if that's going to be the case, then it's obviously good news for the Western Province team because they did really, really well on Saturday. And granted, they were playing at home, the Lions having to travel down to, to Cape Town. But I'll, I'll, again, I was impressed by Western Province. You know, they, They're missing, obviously, a lot of players, but they've still got a core team that is pretty good on paper. Some, some, you know, fringe Springboks, if you like, in Sia Khaleesi and Azam Carr doing fantastic things in, in the loose trio. The Lions, I think, with the dominant scrum still, they've got a really, really impressive tight five under Johan Ackermann. They cer certainly know how to scrum, perhaps the strongest South African scrumming unit at the moment. And Western Brahms, they, they struggled a little bit um, at scrum time, but they still held their own enough. They made a ton of tackles. The Lions certainly dominated the possession stakes, but the Western Browns team is really good on the break. They can, with their speed out wide in particular, um, and actually in the back line in, in total, they, they can really hit teams on the break, and they certainly did that. They scored a number of tries against the run of the play, if you like. Uh, from, there was a one bizarre um, try by Kubis von Beek where Dimitri Kielis was looking to clear, I think, the ball to touch. It didn't end up finding touch, but um, Kubis von Beek caught the ball and ran the length of the field to score. So, you know, this, the, the, the things went Western Province's way on Saturday. But again, you know, I think they're going to be really difficult to beat um, in this year's Curry Cup. I wouldn't even be surprised if the bookies have now installed them as favourites. Um, the Lions, I know, were, were my pick pre-season. They're certainly going to have to improve. Unfortunately, they don't get anyone back from the Springbok team, really, if the Springboks even make a, an appearance in the latter stages of the tournament. So looking good for the men from Cape Town, for sure. Rob, I know you just hopped on the Lions bandwagon. Are you hopping back off? <laughs> No, um, uh, they, 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 they still impressed me in many ways. I think the scoreline uh, was a little bit flattering in the end. Um, Western Province will be delighted, by the way, that they denied the Lions uh, a losing bonus point. So the Lions went away from Newlands with nothing. But that said, I don't think the Lions are going to sort of collapse in a heap now. Um, they, they were caught a bit cold. They, they went 14-0 down pretty early, which proved pretty decisive in the end because they also came back at different stages. They, they kept coming back. I think they made it 14-8 at one stage, and then it was something like 17-14, and the game was really in the balance. But then Province to their credit, uh, they do remain a, an outstanding counter-attacking side and an opportunistic side, if you like. Uh, you know, when, when they when they just get a sense that the opposition defensive structure is out of alignment, um, you know, somebody will find that hole, will punch the hole, and they'll probably round it off pretty impressively. They have learned how to score tries again. Again, as Garen said, uh, back three very lethal. Kubus van Veik, a very good, alert, um, muscular game from him. He's quite a big winger. Um, and then again, another fantastic performance from uh, Cheslin Colby at fullback, and again, uh, Siobello. Sinatra, I thought, on the left wing. Um, he combines uh, blistering pace and, and just a, a great willingness to, to be involved with, with, with good physicality. He's, uh, he's not shy to, to make his tackles, and I think he really is a, a player for the future. So lots to go on there. And Province are the kind of team who, even with 40% ball, uh, you think uh, they'll still be in with a, a good chance of winning against most opponents. So things looking quite good at Newlands.